Yes, it's post back again. Uh, two packages. Uh, one obviously from China and the other uh, inside Germany and I have no idea what that is. So let's open that first. I really don't remember. Epson Stylus Pro XL Support Kit? What? It's... <laughs> yeah, it has been opened before. Lots of registration cards. Uh, I'm a little bit flabbergasted because uh, <laughs> oh my god Epson can you read that uh, yes you probably can Epson mailbox information system modem dial in yeah, drivers, technical information, blah, 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 blah. For dial-in, not internet. Yeah, there's no, no internet address, no HTTP. HTTPS wasn't born even back then. And uh, yeah, uh, some stickers for, this must be an Epson printer on um, yeah uh, service blah 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 i'm i'm really flabbergasted uh, i mean this obviously doesn't fit to that one which is the user manual for the Scanner I bought of eBay as defect and uh, teared down, uh, uh, yeah, card link. And the guy went to the trouble and, yeah, sending that after the fact to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, uh, big thumbs up. Um, not that I need it, but yeah, that was, yeah, you, you remember that back from uh, from the teardown and <laughs> uh, yeah, I already linked it in. Uh, and uh, yeah, the SCSI address, which I know, but uh, that switch was uh, actually for uh, the SCSI termination resistors. Very interesting. Huh. Yeah, that was an era. Sorry, focus. That was an era where they still did, you know, manuals. Real manuals. Okay, um, let's get that out of the way um, and open the other package. Uh, yes, sometimes you get surprises. And focus, yeah. And that's, I mean, I know what it is, okay, uh, because it says here digital LED volt meter. And if you remember my post back, uh, sorry, focus is not cooperating today. Uh, that post back uh, card here, link down there. 
where I reviewed or unpacked and sh tested uh, some. Okay. Let's get out the big guns. Uh, some digital voltmeters from China, different types. That was the one that was still missing. And I contacted the seller and said, okay, I didn't receive it. And they said, they are very sorry. Do I want a refund? Ah, small ones. Do I want a refund or do I want to, uh, let's get in a little bit closer. I do this live. Ooh. Yeah, that's better. Um, do I want a refund or do I want to uh, them to try to send it again? And I said, uh, no, I want them. Send them again by all means. And they did. And now they arrived. And there's a story to it. Uh, because a year ago or so, I pretty much, and this should be the uh, four, not uh full four digit voltmeters yeah zero and uh, not full four digits uh zero to 33 volts and zero to three amps dc 3.5 to 28 volts oh that's that's very handy um yeah while we are talking about it uh, can we identify that little chip here upside down I'm sorry I have to get the cable out of the way or can I still focus no 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 Oh no, it was the right way around. Oh, that's only a 74 HC 5, 74 HC 595D, whatever that is. Uh, yeah, there's a small trim pot there for adjustment but only one and they obviously didn't uh, clean off the flux, flux of the board yeah I mean it's okay there's nothing much else on here so I guess it's all on the back side um, yeah, uh, let me try to get that out. How was that working again? Mm. I remember it to be easy. Ah, yeah, the board is just snapped in one side or the other and then it should come out quite simple don't lose orientation uh, yeah I guess all the intelligence is hidden under here Yeah, you can see the chips and I can, can't get to them. I'm sorry. So yeah, uh, let's put that together and uh, try it out if it's actually working and how precise it is. I mean, obviously you can only trim can only trim huh. okay uh, getting it out was 
easy getting it in again is not so easy. Okay, uh, I bent the shunt, nothing to worry. Yeah, and like in my initial review uh, of some, not the same, but similar sized uh, panel meters, uh, yeah, the, um, um, I noticed you can only get them really into a case with these snap-ins if you take the board out. Yeah, then it's possible. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you kill yourself. Okay, um, let's get out a meter and a uh, power supply and uh, yeah, fire this thing up. Huh? Well, at least it uh, lights up. <laughs> when you connect the 9 volt battery to it and it's all zero. Um, that's encouraging, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, let's go a step further. Yeah, so far nothing to complain about. Um, yeah, 4.35, 4.03, let's dial that down. Yeah, 0 0.09, 0 0.012, let's, okay, let's dial it up, 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 23, 2, 4, 2, 5, 23, 2, 4, 2, 5, so the voltmeter is uh, working just fine. Uh, keep in mind, um, the power supply of these thingies and uh, the uh, ground measurement ground for the voltmeter and the measurement ground for the ammeter are all common ground. So um, yeah, if you use these, uh, you will have a low side shunt on your load. If you don't like that, don't buy these. Okay, uh, let's see what the thing can do uh, with the ammeter. Huh? Well, <coughs> the ammeter says 0 0.02 and uh, my multimeter says 0 0.04. That's without killing something. So 250 milliamps, uh, 254 milliamps, or 250. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, let's see how. Well, I can go okay so one point oh something amps and yeah it's okay it's not uh, <laughs> yeah uh, here my not so electronic load is not the most, uh, let's say, uh, stable, precise. So it's just halogen bulbs, but oh, it's working. Let's, oh, oh, I'm cutting back. So I expect to get, uh, no. I won't get more current out of this unit. I don't know why. Maybe that way. Oh. 
Maybe I'm overtaxing. Oh, 24 volts. Yeah, just just wait a moment. 24 volts in parallel. Ah, yeah. Now now we're talking, huh? Uh, one point, oh, that's a good test for my power supply too. Let's go down and take another set of bulbs. Okay, uh, now it's flat. Okay. Uh, even flatter. Okay, 1.5 amps, uh, it should be able to deliver and it can actually do a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, 1.784 amps and 1.781 amps. Yeah, you, you can fiddle with the trim pot on the back, but uh, it's, it's not a precision pot. Uh, so, yeah, you just take what you get. Uh, almost forgot, that's the Amazon listing, Amazon. Uh, for it, so it's a Gatsichin mini digital ammeter, voltmeter, dual LED, blah, 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 the whole Chinese litany, and it was dispatched to me, and it's sold by Handcraft for uh, in Euro 6.99 free delivery to Germany, I guess free delivery worldwide. Uh, it comes in different uh, display colors and uh, Blah includes one independent small blah current transformer with rear cover. No, it doesn't. Voltage and current, yes, it is no extra power. And no, yes, it is. So the description, uh, <laughs> I obviously never read that when I ordered it. Uh, is, is completely off the rockers, but uh, these guys, Handcraft, uh, as I said in the beginning, uh, yeah, very cooperative when the first shipment didn't arrive. So uh, big thumbs up and the product uh, is also good. There is some more information here. Blah, 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 blah. Power supply 3.5 to 28 volts, measuring precision. Uh, 0.3% plus two digits. Yeah, what we saw, um, yeah, it's okay. Quite fast refresh rate. So five times a second, 200 millisecond refresh rate, which is really nice. Um, yeah, voltage ranges, we saw that. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's tiny, 48 by 29 by 21 millimeters or 1.89 by 8.84 by 0.83 inches. Please allow one to three centimeters, that's 10 to 30 millimeters error due to manual measurement. No, uh, I won't accept that. Yeah, uh, the Amazon listing. Yeah, and uh, that was a uh, very short post pack. Bye.